بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس ٹو ڈے آئی ول بی ڈسکسنگ ود یو پیپل ایم ایچ سی پروٹینس اسٹوڈنٹس وی اسٹارٹ ایم ایچ سی اٹ اسٹینڈس فار میجر ہسٹو کمپیٹیبلٹی کمپلیکس اوکے کنسنٹریٹ آن این ادر ٹرمینالوجی ایم ایچ سی پروٹینس be very clear in your concepts these two terminologies are fairly different from each other okay we start with major histo compatibility complex students this complex indicates different types of genes which are located on chromosomes number 6 genes which are located on chromosome number 6 students these major histo compatibility complex genes they are responsible for coding of nhc proteins okay major histo compatibility proteins what are these proteins these are glycoproteins in nature these are glycoproteins in nature and these proteins they are encoded by genes mhc complex genes and these genes are located on chromosome number 6 okay <clears throat> now you perceive the difference between mhc complex and mhc proteins students there are four different types of nhc proteins nhc type 1 proteins students these proteins they are located on surface of these are surface proteins they are located <clears throat> on the surface of nucleated cells okay students they are located on the surface of macrophages dendritic cells b cells these mhc type 1 protein molecules they are surface proteins they are located on the surface of nucleated cells also on the surface of macrophages dendritic cells and b cells okay now students what is the function of class 1 mhc proteins the main function of all types of mhc proteins is antigen presentation
एंटीजन प्रेजेंटेशन वॉट इज एंटीजन प्रेजेंटेशन स्टूडेंट वेन एनी ऑफेंडिंग एंटीजन इट एंटर्स द होस्ट these mhc proteins <clears throat> they present that antigen in front of t lymphocytes for further destruction and so we can say that mhc proteins plays a vital role in our immune system and students it is because of these mhc proteins that our immune system especially the acquired immunity it becomes specific in nature okay now mhc class 1 proteins they present the antigen in front of CD8 T cells. Students, as you all know, there are two classes of T lymphocytes: CD8 cytotoxic T cells and CD4 helper T cells. Now, <clears throat> class one MHC proteins they present. see only those antigens which are in combination with them in front of cd8 t cells in other words students we can say that cd8 t lymphocytes they are specific in their function of recognizing the antigen how they are specific cd8 t lymphocytes recognize only those antigens which are in combination with class 1 mhc protein molecules on their surface okay i repeat my words cd8 t lymphocytes recognize only those antigens which are in combination with mhc class 1 proteins on their surface now we move towards mhc class 2 proteins okay students students mhc class 2 proteins they are also surface proteins they are glycoproteins in nature okay students they present class 2 mhc proteins they present the offending antigen in front of cd4 helper t lymphocytes okay in other words we can say that cd4 t lymphocytes recognize only those antigens which are in combination with class 2 mhc proteins okay students 
these surface proteins class 2 proteins they are located on the surface of macrophages dendritic cells and B cells these class 2 MXC proteins they are located on the surface of macrophages dendritic cells and B cells now students we come to class 3 MHC proteins class 3 MHC protein molecules students these include these include molecules like complement C2 C4 and factor B I repeat class 3 MHC protein molecules they include molecules like complement C2 complement C4 and factor P ok students now we move towards class 4 MHC proteins students class 4 MHC proteins they are located on T cells of leukemia class 4 MHC protein molecules they are located on T cells of leukemia immature thymocytes cells of the thymus gland ok this was all about 4 classes of class 1, 2, 3 and 4 MHC protein molecules students now what is the clinical significance or what is the biological significance of these MHC proteins? Biological role of MHC protein molecules. As we have discussed, their main function is antigen presentation. That is, these MHC proteins, they present the offending antigen in front of T lymphocytes for further degradation and destruction. Ok students, number two, students, it is because of these MHC proteins that some of the cells they are recognized as self and some are recognized as non-self by the T lymphocytes and 
this division of antigens into self and non self it is the basic of autoimmunity number third biological role is graft rejection students acceptance or rejection of any organ transplant or graft it depends on mhc protein molecules okay if the mhc protein molecules of the donor they differ from mhc molecules of recipient there occurs a rejection phenomenon the graft is rejected okay now students these mhc proteins in human species in human beings are also called hla antigens human leukocyte antigens i repeat my words these mhc protein molecules in human species they are called as human leukocyte antigens rest of the mechanism is same between hla and mhc protein molecules so it was brief all about major histo compatibility complex and mhc proteins thank you students allah hafiz